Hi there, Jeff Watts here, and I'm here to announce the winners of my Agile Coaching Cards competition. I don't think I've ever been this excited. You're excited? <laughs> Feel these nipples. So a while ago, I added some new decks to my Agile Coaching Cards app, and these five decks were all taken from my book, The Coach's Casebook. So each deck focused on positive affirmations, tools, techniques, quotes, powerful questions, all associated with five of the traits from my popular book, The Coach's Casebook. And we launched a competition. So anybody who tweeted their favourite card from any of those decks and explained why it was their favourite would be entered into a draw to win a free deck of cards on my app, the Agile Coaching Cards app. So we're now at the point where we can release and tell people who've won. Uh, it's International Coaching Week coming up. So we've got five winners. We had so many entries, we thought, well, let's give five winners out. So I'm going to tell you who they are, which of their cards are the favourite, and uh, and they can then claim their prize. Drum roll, please. Can anybody guess? New chairs? No. So first up, we have Andreas Wittler, probably pronounced Wittler, but I'm not an expert. Um, and he actually tweeted quite a few cards, so he, he really increased his chances of winning by tweeting quite a few. But the one that I think he seemed to really latch on to was, what if what you have to offer is just what the world needs? Who are you to withhold that? And that's from the imposter syndrome deck. People with imposter syndrome really struggle to own their own thoughts, own their own successes, understand and appreciate their own worth. Uh, they're often thinking everybody else in the room is more knowledgeable, more skillful, more worthy than they are. And a lot of their success has been down to luck. And so they withhold their thoughts. But turning that, that idea of sharing your opinion, sharing what you have to offer, more in terms of an obligation, and you're letting down the world if you don't do this. How can you judge what you have to offer? Who are you to do that? Give someone a different perspective on whether or not they're comfortable to share their opinion. So if you are someone who struggles to be assertive, who struggles to own their own voice, maybe thinking about it in that perspective could be helpful. Nice tweet, Andreas. Thank you for joining into the competition. Get in touch and claim your free deck of cards. The second winner is Maria Paola Sorrentino, a great name. And her Twitter handle is at Agile Gardener. Uh, so she picked something from the People Pleasers deck. And she picked the powerful question, is pleasing others always the same as helping others? And she said that's important to her because it's very easy to mistake pleasing others for helping others. And you don't realise what you're doing is not helpful. Sometimes telling people what they want to hear or doing something for them is actually going to set them back when actually what they really need is to hear the truth or hear something slightly more difficult or perhaps to learn that they have the capacity to achieve something themselves and people pleasers can find it quite difficult to give that difficult message and so reframing that as I'm helping that's my overall desire as a people pleaser is to help I'm helping by not pleasing them can be an interesting way of looking at the same situation and helping bringing that people-pleasing trait back into balance. Remember, it's not about not pleasing people. It's not about being someone that goes around upsetting people. Pleasing people is a valuable trait, but we don't want to get in the way of us being successful and helping people. So thank you, Maria Paula. Great quote that you've picked out there. Get in touch for your free deck of cards on the Agile Coaching Cards app. The third winner is Thomas Krauss, or Thomas Krauser. I'm doubling up on the pronunciation options, increasing my chances of being right. Uh, his Twitter handle is Tommy K, and he chose what would be the impact of reducing by 10% the standards you set for yourselves. And he said he loves that because he's going to be using that in the coming days. Having it in mind, uh, he might accomplish more with more impact. Now, I'd like to know whether he did, uh, and hopefully that was helpful to him. Uh, we'll find out. But again, thanks for entering, Tommy, or Thomas. Get in touch, and you can claim your free deck of cards on the Agile Coaching Cards app. Our fourth winner was Damien Crawford, 
Twitter handle Elfigo. I'm intrigued as to what's behind that Twitter handle, but that's just me being nosy. And he picked something which, again, was from the Perfectionism deck. He picked a quote from Harriet Breaker, which I put in there, which is, Striving for excellence motivates you. Striving for perfection is demoralising. So he's looking at the motivational aspects of the perfectionism trait. All of our traits can be helpful to us, as well as being unhelpful to us. So looking at our perfectionism trait, the more we push for, the more we're likely to achieve. The more we push for totality, the more quickly we're likely to achieve things. So these things are helpful to us. They don't let us settle for mediocrity. They really push us forward. But, but, if we have them out of balance, then it can have a massively demoralizing impact on us. So bringing things back into a more healthy, helpful balance is obviously something that Damien picked up on, and I'm really glad that he picked that one out. Hopeful that it helped him and looking forward to him getting in touch so he can claim his free deck of Agile coaching cards. And our final winner was Celine von der Osten. Again, maybe got the pronunciation wrong, apologies. Uh, And she picked something from imposter syndrome. She picked a quote from Michelle Obama, so the former first lady. And someone as successful as her with a best-selling book who's been first lady of, of the United States, even she struggles with imposter syndrome and she calls it out. And she says, you never get over it, okay? It doesn't go away. That feeling that you shouldn't take me that seriously. What do I know? And she goes on to say, I share that with you because we all have doubts in our abilities about our power and what that power is. It's incredibly normal. It's incredibly human to doubt yourself. It's incredibly helpful to doubt yourself. You're certainly not going to come across as arrogant. You're not going to make stupid mistakes. You're not going to alienate people and rub people up the wrong way. But if it becomes too much, too out of balance, your imposter syndrome takes hold, then you'll stop yourself from putting yourself out there. You won't take risks. The stress levels will be unmanageably high. So the cards in that deck will hopefully help people bring their imposter syndrome into something more of a healthy balance and able to get the positives from it without it overwhelming them. So those are our five winners. Well done to all of you and thank you to everybody else who joined in the competition. I'm sorry I couldn't give a deck out to everybody that entered. Maybe we'll have another competition in the future so keep your eyes out for that. In the meantime, check out the Agile Coaching Cards app. We've now got over 15 decks. We've got nearly a 1,000 cards in there. They're double-sided, so you've got double the value for some of them now. You can buy them in bundles, which gives you great value, 50% off the RRP, and that's even cheaper than buying the physical decks. So get in touch. Let me know what you like. Let me know which cards are your favorites. Let me know what they're doing for you, how they're helping you. I love your feedback. Um, Thank you again for everybody for joining in, and take care.